The open seam. This seam has the advantage of being easily let out or taken in. It is commonly used with seams that require a zip insertion. It can also be used for side and shoulder seams. However, there are a few disadvantages. One, an open seam is not suitable for hard wearing garments such as jeans and work clothes. And also, when pressing a garment with an open seam, extra care is required to ensure each side is laying flat. Here are the instructions to making an open seam. Firstly, you need to place right sides of the fabric together. Secondly, pin the seam with pins at right angles to the edge. Next, you need to machine straight stitch a 1.5 cm seam, back stitching at the ends. You can see that I have lined up the edge of the fabric with the second line on the needle plate. This second line will give you a 1.5 cm seam. When starting to sew, make sure that the needle is in the fabric and the threads are to the back of the presser foot. This will stop any knots from occurring. When back stitching, just back stitch a few stitches forward and a few stitches backwards. Continue the row of stitching and back stitch at the ends. Lift the presser foot, ease the thread out by moving the hand wheel back and forward. Trim your threads and now it's ready for pressing. Remove the pins. When pressing any seam, for best results, always iron the seam as it's been sewn. This aligns the threads of the fabric up with the stitching line. For an open seam, you need now to part those two pieces of fabric and press on the wrong side. Turn over to the right side and press again. You will always get best results using a steam iron. You can see now you have an open seam. The plain seam, sometimes known as a simple seam. This type of seam is widely used. There are many garments which incorporate the plain seam such as shirts, blouses and dresses. There are many advantages of using the plain seam. One, it is neat and also ideal for light to medium weight fabrics. There is only one row of sewing. There are a few disadvantages of using the plain seam. Firstly, it is not suitable for bulky fabrics as this seam is pressed together. And secondly, it's not easily altered like the open seam. The construction of the plain seam is the same as the open seam. However, there are just two differences. One is that the seam needs to be trimmed down to a finished width of one centimetre, as you can see here. Secondly, the plain seam is pressed together and press to one side like this. Just make sure you finish off on the right side and you can see there now that the seam is pressed together and to one side. The flat seam this seam is used on garments intended to withstand hard wear and washing. 
for example jeans, work clothes and children's clothing. It is also used for a decorative purpose. There are definitely some advantages of the flat seam. Firstly, it's very strong and durable, smooth and flat, and also the raw edges are enclosed. However, there are some disadvantages. For example, it is difficult to construct, it is a time-consuming seam to construct, bulky and stiff, it cannot be let out if the garment becomes too tight and also it is difficult to construct on curved seams. Here are the instructions. Firstly you need to place the wrong sides of the fabric together. Make sure that you pin the seam with the pins at right angles to the edge. This makes sewing quicker as you can sew over the pins and it also stops the two pieces of fabric from moving. Next you need to machine straight stitch a 1.5 cm seam back stitching at the ends. Trim one side of the seam allowance to 3 millimetres in width. Once you have trimmed the seam, you need to press the seam to one side with the trimmed allowance underneath. Press on the other side just ensuring that it's completely flat. Press under a 3mm hem on the raw edge of the upper seam allowance, like this. Now pin the upper seam allowance over the narrow lower seam allowance. Also as you're pinning just check to make sure that your ironing has been accurate and that the seam width is even along the length of the seam. Once you've pinned this seam the last row of stitching is here and you sew close to the edge. So now for the last row of stitching. This needs to be done close to the folded edge of the upper seam allowance. You can also see that I have used the presser foot as a guide. The edge of the presser foot is lined up with the previous stitching. This will help me to sew straight. Don't forget the finished seam width should be between 6 and 8 millimetres. So it's probably worth using a tape measure and measuring that before you sew this final line. Don't forget to backstitch at both ends. Here is the completed flat seam.